Hello there, it's Nick James here from the Internet Marketing Training Club with another video tip for you. And this video recording is being made especially for uh, Melanie, who's a member of the Internet Marketing Training Club and recently asked a question in the discussion forum uh, about how to send out HTML emails. Um, she says, hi guys, I've been trying to go through the ARP user guide to figure out how to do HTML emails, but I'm going cross-eyed. I just need to know how to add images. Please, can somebody help us out at all? Okay, well, I promised to get back to Melini with a video, so here we are. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to send the broadcast email through ARP Reach and also how to make sure um, that you can uh, add in those HTML emails and also add pictures as well. But it doesn't actually start at ARP Reach. We're actually going to need to use a piece of software to create the HTML email in the first place. So let me just bring up my HTML editor, which is Dreamweaver. Now I've shrunk things down a little bit to fit into this window. So let me just um, close down a couple of a couple of bits here. Okay, let's just drag that down a little bit as well. So what I've done is I've prepared an email. Um, and you can see in the top half of the screen, this is where all the HTML code fits. This is where... Um, you know, we, we'd see the code that makes up a web page, or in this case, the HTML email. And in the window below, this is what um, things look like in visual view. Um, now, whilst I'm using Dreamweaver, you might be using something like Ace HTML or, or um, something like that. Um, there are plenty of free HTML editors on the market. You can use any any one of those, so that the principles work the same. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down through the text of the email that I'm going to be sending out. Uh, there's a nice little hyperlink down here. Um, going a little bit further down, I've already put one image in, uh, which is my signature. But underneath, what I'd like to do um, is I'd like to put an image of some stars, five stars, um, into um, this email here. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. The principle to remember is when you're sending out an HTML email that has images, those images shouldn't necessarily be attached uh, to the email as attachments. It's far, far better to actually upload those to the internet and then in your HTML code um, for your email, you just pull in that image. And I'll show you what I mean by that. It starts by going to perhaps your website. Um, whether you use Dream, uh, sorry, whether you use um, Dreamweaver to create your websites, whether you use uh, Membergate, whether you use um, traditional builders, whether you use WordPress, for example. Uh, but let's go and start off at your your website. So I know Melanie uses WordPress, so we'll use that in this example. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Media, and um, I'm going to go and add a new piece of media to my WordPress site. Uh, in this case, it's going to be an image that I've got stored on my desktop um, called Five Stars. So let's just go to my oh, my desktop, and there's the five star image that I want. So I'm going to click on Open. That obviously just uploads it to um, WordPress. There's a little thumbnail of it, what it looks like down there. So just click on Edit, and that's the the five star image in real size. But over here on the right. Uh, it gives me that file URL. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that entire location to that image. Um, for example, if I now paste that into the address bar of the browser, you'll see that it loads up. Um, and the only thing there is that five-star image. So we know we've got the right URL. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my um, HTML editor. And I'm going to put my cursor in exactly where I want that image to appear. And I'm going to go insert image. And then I'm going to put the URL of where the image is into the box there and click OK. Um, also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a quick alt tag, um, which is going to be saying five stars. And I'll give that an exclamation mark as well, click OK. And now we'll see that the, um, the five stars has appeared um, exactly where I want to in the image. In fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to copy that same image because I want it to repeat several times in this um, email everywhere where a five star testimonial appeared okay and two more brilliant okay so that's everything done now I've got those those images in there if I actually click on this image 
and then we just go up here to where it's been highlighted in the source code. Uh, the uh, HTML is saying open bracket image source equals. It's got the long URL. That's of my the WordPress site you just saw me upload the image to. Um, the whole path to the image online and the alt tags in there, the width and the height. It's all there as well. So that's all I need to do. Um, now I've got the images into my HTML email. Um, it's also worth bearing in mind as well that uh, if you want to break up your text into paragraphs and, and what have you, then that's a standard, uh, what we call a line break or a new paragraph being set up in your um, HTML editor as well. And you can generally do that um, just by making sure you hit the, the return line uh, in there as well to make your paragraphs. Okay, so there we have all of the HTML that we need. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm now just going to highlight all the HTML code that makes up that table, makes up that email. I'm going to right click. I'm going to save that to my computer's clipboard. And this is now where we go back to the ARP program. And we're going to go to broadcasts. And we're going to schedule a broadcast. And what I'll do is I'll just go to sender, make sure sender's okay. I'm going to make sure it's on um, local host send mail. Make sure my details are in there correctly. Click onto message. And what I'm going to do firstly is I'm just going to scroll down to where it says HTML content and I'm going to paste all that HTML code into that box. Uh, the other thing that I can do if I, um, if I want to is I can now also bring in a plain text version um, which I've already prepared for this email. So I'm going to copy the plain text version out of Notepad. I'm going to put that into the, the plain text version of the box as well. And you can see here I've just used the ASCII characters to, to make some starts in this one. Scroll a little bit further up. Um, I've got a subject line as well um, that we can use for this particular um, email. Um, so call this it's so good, I'll buy it back off you. Uh, now I can decide which format will go out by default. I can either select an ARP the co contact pre uh, preference. I'm just going to select that to HTML anyway. Um, and I think we're pretty much to go, ready to go with everything that we've got written in for the content of the of the message now. So we've got message sorted, sender sorted, just do some settings. I'm just going to send it to um, some auto-respond subscribers. Let's do it to the next test product. Um, it's a draft at the moment, it's not approved for sending, but what I'll do is I'll uh, save that. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to number 15, which is the last one that I did. Um, and I'm going to go to test. And I'm going to send myself a test version of the HTML email. So I'll drop that down to format to send is HTML. It's going to go to nick nick jamescom so I'm going to test that email and send that out to myself. When I get the green bar across the top, I know that's been sent. Okay, so here's the email. So we'll just click on the email. And it's the first thing we'll do, obviously, to make sure that the images are appearing. Um, it does this in Gmail, is we need to make sure that display images below is turned on. And then we can see the signatures in there. And we've got our five stars in there as well. So it's all good to go. Um, obviously the other thing you can do with ARP Reach is if you want to turn off the, the, the affiliate link or, or what have you then you can just turn it off in your layout settings. Uh, but essentially um, there we go that's how to um, make sure you can send an HTML email and also pull in uh, an image as well into your HTML email. I hope that helps. Melin if you've got any questions please do feel free to ask them below. Thanks very much.